the Australopithecus genus, often translated from Latin as southern ape, represents a pivotal group of extinct primates that share a close relationship with modern humans, potentially laying the groundwork for our ancestors. These beings left their mark across a variety of African landscapes, from the east to the south and parts of north-central Africa, with their remains dating from about 4.4 million to 1.4 million years ago. This timeline places them squarely within the Pliocene and Pleistocene epochs, a period stretching from 5.3 million years back to just 11,700 years ago. The initial discovery of their fossils in South Africa gave rise to their name, which pays homage to their southern origins. Among the most celebrated finds within this genus is Lucy, an exceptionally well-preserved skeleton unearthed in Ethiopia, boasting an age of 3.2 million years. The physical makeup of Australopithecus species reveals an intriguing blend of traits that are both familiar and foreign to us. They navigated their world on two legs, showcasing bipedal locomotion much like ourselves. Yet in contrast to humans, they possessed smaller brains akin to those of apes. Their dental structure also straddled the line between primates and humans. Their canine teeth were less pronounced than those of apes, while their molars were larger than what we see in humans today. This unique combination of features underscores their significance in the evolutionary narrative, bridging the gap between our ape-like forebears and the dawn of humankind. The term Australopith, or Australopithecine, informally refers to members of the Australopithecus genus, a significant group in the story of human evolution. This category also embraces the genus Paranthropus, existing between 2.3 and 1.2 million years ago, known for its robust members due to their notably large cheek teeth, housed within formidable jaws. Beyond these, the human family tree branches out to include non-Australopithecine hominins such as Sahelanthropus chedensis, living around 7 to 6 million years ago, Ororin tugenensis from 6 million years ago, Ardipithecus cadaba between 5.8 and 5.2 million years ago, Ardipithecus ramidus from 5.8 to 4.4 million years ago, and Kenyanthropus platyops around 3.5 million years ago. These species represent the precursors to the Australopithecus and are considered early humans. Australopithecus afarensis stands out as the most documented species within the Australopithecus genus, with over 400 fossil specimens that cover nearly all parts of the hominin skeleton. These fossils, which date from around 3.8 to 2.9 million years ago, primarily hail from Hada in Ethiopia's Afar Triangle, although discoveries have also been made in Chad, Kenya, and Tanzania. A significant portion of our knowledge about our forensis comes from Hada, highlighted by the discovery of Lucy, a 40% complete skeleton of an adult female, and the first family, a group burial of at least 13 individuals. The associated animal fossils suggest Awafarensis lived in woodlands interspersed with grasslands. The physical structure of Awafarensis is a blend of ape-like and human-like characteristics, a pattern seen in later hominins. This species had a notably protruding face, and its snout shared similarities with that of apes. The dental setup also mirrored ape-like features, including the shape of the dental arch, which was rectangular rather than the parabolic shape seen in modern humans. The brain size of our aferensis, with cranial capacities ranging from 380 to 530 cubic centimeters, was about one-third that of modern humans, underscoring their primitive traits. Moreover, various features of their jaw and skull 
reinforce their ape-like lineage and distinguish Awafarensis from other Australopithecus species, showcasing a crucial stage in the evolution of early hominins. The emergence of the Homo genus, which modern humans belong to, can be traced back to as early as 2.8 million years ago. The transition from Australopithecus to Homo is marked by shared traits, sparking debates over the identification of the earliest Homo species. Fossils older than 6 million years are typically classified as belonging to ancient apes, setting a demarcation line in our understanding of human ancestry. The complex web of evolutionary history highlights the gradual emergence of human-like characteristics over millions of years, showcasing the diversity and adaptability of our predecessors. Tracing the origins of the human lineage, known as Hominini, back through time reveals a gradual shift towards more ape-like features in our ancestors. This evolutionary path suggests that the further back we go, the more our predecessors resemble a hypothetical common ancestor shared with apes, displaying a blend of human and ape characteristics. Sahelanthropus chadensis, often cited as one of the earliest potential members of this group, showcases human-like qualities such as a smaller canine tooth and a less protruding face. Yet, in many aspects, including its brain size, it mirrors ape-like traits. The debate on whether Sahelanthropus was capable of walking upright remains unresolved due to the limited fossils available, which include only a skull, parts of jaws, and some teeth. Bipedalism, the act of walking on two legs, is a hallmark of human evolution. Evidence suggests this trait was already present in Aurorin tugenensis, dating back six million years and discovered in Kenya's Tugan Hills. Described in 2001 as the earliest known hominin, Aurorin's anatomy is mostly primitive except for its thigh bones, which indicate bipedal locomotion similar to that of modern humans. While its dental structure, including thick molar enamel and distinctively ape-like canines and premolars, aligns with earlier forms of life, the human-like aspects of its femurs provide compelling evidence of its place within the human lineage. Key features supporting its ability to walk upright include the shape and structure of the femoral neck and a specific groove on the femur, suggesting the use of muscles associated with bipedal movement. This blend of primitive and advanced traits in Aurorin tugenensis highlights the complex, nuanced process of human evolution, illustrating how our ancestors gradually adopted characteristics that define our species today. Ardipithecus, another genus posited as containing some of the earliest hominins, lived between 5.8 and 4.4 million years ago. Among its species, Ardipithecus cadaver, which existed around 5.8 to 5.2 million years ago, offers intriguing insights into early human evolution. Its fossils, unearthed in Ethiopia's Afar region, include limb fragments, teeth, part of a jaw, and a toe bone, providing a glimpse into its physical characteristics and lifestyle. While the canine teeth bear some resemblance to those of apes, they lack the specialized sharpening feature seen in many primates, suggesting a departure towards more human-like traits. The discovery of a toe bone indicative of bipedal movement, albeit from a younger stratum and distant location, complicates the narrative, potentially pointing to varied bipedal adaptations within early hominins. Ardipithecus ramidus, found in 1992 in the same geographic area, is known from a partial skeleton that presents a mix of ape-like and human features. With a small brain and a forward-projecting face, it nonetheless shows evidence of bipedalism through the positioning of the foramen magnum, aligning with traits associated with upright walking. The anatomy of Ardipithecus ramidus, particularly its long upper limbs and large hands, suggests a life spent partly in the trees, 
highlighting an adaptation to both arboreal and terrestrial environments. Its pelvis and feet exhibit a blend of characteristics, further illustrating the transitional nature of Ardipithecus between ape-like ancestors and the later, more bipedally adapted hominins. This species' existence in a wooded landscape, as inferred from associated flora and fauna fossils, underscores the diverse habitats early humans inhabited. Ardipithecus thus represents a critical chapter in the story of human evolution, bridging the gap between our tree-dwelling ancestors and the eventual emergence of fully bipedal hominins. Australopithecus anamensis, identified as the earliest member of the Australopithecus genus, was discovered in northern Kenya, near Lake Turkana, in the areas of Kanapoi and Alia Bay. First described in 1995, the discovery comprised isolated teeth, pieces of jaws, a segment of a cranium, and a tibia, dating the species to between 4.2 and 3.9 million years ago. Similar to Ardipithecus australopithecus, Anamensis shared its habitat with woodland animals and some grassland species, indicating a varied environment. This species exhibited a forward-projecting snout and had teeth coated with thick enamel, a trait consistent with later hominins and distinct from the thinner enamel characteristic of Ardipithecus ramidus's teeth. The tibia, or shin bone, of Anamensis demonstrated adaptations for bipedal locomotion, evident in its knee and ankle structures, aligning with the physical developments seen in subsequent bipedal hominins. In a separate discovery in 1998 at Lamequi on Lake Turkana's western shore, a highly distorted cranium was attributed to a new genus and species, Kenyanthropus platyops, or human from Kenya, dating back to 3.5 million years ago. This specimen, also found among woodland fauna, has sparked considerable debate regarding its classification. Critics argue that the cranium's severe distortion makes it difficult to ascertain whether it represents a new species or an unusual example of another species, such as Australopithecus afarensis. The debate highlights the challenges in interpreting fossil evidence and underscores the complexity of the human evolutionary tree. Australopithecus afarensis displayed a range of physical traits indicating a life adapted to walking on two legs, much like modern humans. Key skeletal parts, including the pelvis, hips, knees and ankles, show a striking similarity in anatomy and function to those of contemporary humans, suggesting Australopithecus afarensis had a bipedal gait designed for walking across the ground. The presence of curved fingers and toes likely represents a vestigial trait from an ancestor more accustomed to life in the trees. Despite having longer upper limbs relative to their lower limbs, a feature reminiscent of arboreal primates, Australopithecus afarensis exhibited spine curvatures and foot structures, including a non-divergent big toe and pronounced arches, aligning with human bipedal mechanics. This species also demonstrated significant sexual dimorphism, with males being considerably larger and heavier than females. Males typically weighed between 99 and 150 pounds and reached heights around 5 feet, while females weighed about 66 pounds and stood approximately 3 feet 5 inches tall. Such pronounced differences between genders are common among early hominin species, showcasing a pattern of physical diversity within these ancient populations. Among the most compelling evidence of Australopithecus, afarensis, bipedal lifestyle, are the Latoli footprints, discovered at a Tanzanian site dating back to roughly 3.6 million years ago. A layer of volcanic ash preserved a remarkable 80-foot-long trail of footprints made by two individuals of this species. 
These footprints, characterized by an arched foot, a forward-pointing great toe, a distinct heel strike, and a pronounced toe-off phase, closely resemble the walking pattern of modern humans. This discovery not only highlights the antiquity of bipedalism in our lineage, but also provides a direct glimpse into the locomotive behavior of Australopithecus afarensis, underscoring its pivotal role in the evolutionary journey toward human bipedality. In 1995, the discovery of a mandible near Coro Toro in northern Chad, dating back 3.5 million years, introduced the scientific community to Australopithecus Bahrel Hazali. This mandible bore a striking resemblance to that of Australopithecus afarensis, leading to the identification of a new species. Despite the anatomical similarities with Australopithecus afarensis, the finding of Australopithecus Bahrel Hazali significantly broadened the known geographic distribution of Australopithecus, stretching it approximately 1,500 miles west from the East African Rift System, thus indicating a far wider range for these ancient hominins than previously understood. Another pivotal discovery occurred in 1997 at Buri in the Afar region of Ethiopia with the unearthing of a cranium attributed to Australopithecus gari, a species dating back 2.5 million years. Named gari, meaning surprise in the Afar language, this species exhibited a mix of familiar and novel traits, while sharing the prognathic facial structure of Australopithecus afarensis, Gari's cheek teeth were notably larger than those found in any specimens of Australopithecus afarensis. Additionally, the presence of a sagittal crest along the brain case's midline hinted at a diet requiring significant chewing power, a characteristic associated with the later robust Australopiths. These features suggest that Australopithecus gari might represent a transitional form, evolving from Australopithecus afarensis and possibly leading towards the robust branches of the Australopithecus family tree. Near the cranium's discovery site, researchers also found a partial skeleton and evidence of stone tool use and animal bones with cut marks. Although it's challenging to directly associate these artifacts and remains with Australopithecus gari, their proximity provides intriguing hints about the lifestyle and capabilities of these early hominins, suggesting the early use of tools and consumption of meat. These findings collectively underscore the diversity and complexity of early human evolution, revealing a mosaic of evolutionary adaptations and behaviors. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.